Hey, what's up, everybody? So, coming to you today with another What's Next. This is going to be on John Ryder, the uh, former world title challenger, former interim champion at super middleweight, 168 pounds. He, um, he returned to action on Friday night, December 18th on the zone when he took on uh, some unknown guy named Mike Guy. So, um, you know, got a one-sided, kind of boring, dull, unanimous decision victory in this one. Um, a 10 round decision. It was pretty much a stay busy fight ahead of, um, you know, uh, a, a planned world title fight. So let's get into that. So then now the question is what's next for John Ryder, former world title challenger? Well, it's pretty simple. John Ryder is going to be competing for the w, the vacant WBA regular title that Canelo gave up prior to challenging Callum Smith for the super championship. Um, Canelo was the regular champion. Uh, they, you know, if, if you didn't know by now, the WBA has uh, an interim champion, a regular champion, and a super champion. So basically the regular champion is supposed to make the mandatories even though Canelo was champion for pretty much two years and didn't defend the belt once so um Ryder's gonna be fighting for that vacant title next and it's supposed to be against former champion uh Fedor Shudinov who uh is not a bad fighter so um excuse me we're gonna see if Ryder can uh can take out uh Shudinov and prove that you know he wasn't a fluke when he almost beat Callum Smith and lost a uh, somewhat controversial decision in November of 2019 last year so um, you know Ryder that's pretty much what he's got going next um, I want to look at the I want to run through the top 10 real quick and look at what he possibly could fight if he beats shoot enough so um, you know with him being with Eddie Hearn and Matchroom he's got a lot of options so let's run through the top 10 and see what he has possible so we start with uh, number one Canelo Alvarez you know, Canelo, after beating Callum Smith, he's, he's, I think he's probably going to fight three times this year. And I just really think, um, I mean, it's always an option, but I don't think John Ryder is is uh, one of the options for, for like, a main option for Canelo. I think Canelo wants to fight top-tier talent, and I think uh, John Ryder's kind of taking a step back for him. So I don't see Canelo doing this unless he's uh, desperate. But you never know. It could happen. Um, but Ryder doesn't have a big name, so I don't see it. Number two at super middleweight is, um, is uh, Jesus, I'm drawing a blank here, Daniel Jacobs now. So Daniel Jacobs, I mean, yeah, this fight definitely could be possible if Jacobs can't get a bigger name opponent um, in the second half of the year. Because if, if Ryder beats Shudinov, these guys, you know, Daniel Jacobs is not technically with Matchroom anymore, but he could pretty much fight wherever he wants. So, and it would be a secondary world title. It'd be a chance for uh, Jacobs to become a two-weight world, two world champion and possibly set up a fight with uh, with one of the other big guys that are on the zone. So I wouldn't completely rule this out. I think it's definitely possible. Uh, number three would be, uh, I'm not sure where I got Callum Smith, so let's just say a rematch with Callum Smith. I wouldn't completely rule that one out. If Callum Smith comes back and, um, and Ryder's the regular champion, maybe Ryder says, hey, I'll take him on and see how I can do in a rematch. I think Eddie Hearn, if John Ryder can't get another opponent, he might uh, you know, present Cal Smith as an option. I'm gonna lean towards the less likely because I think John Ryder's pissed off that Cal Smith uh, didn't fight him uh, all year. So I think it's very possible that John Ryder uh, you know, tells him, no, I'm gonna fight somebody else. You know, you had your opportunity to face me, but um, I still think it is possible. Number four is, is a rematch with undefeated Billy Joe Saunders, a WBO champion. Um, well, actually, number four is David Benavidez. Let's get into him first. Uh, I don't see this one. I think Benavidez is going to uh, work himself in line for something else. Um, you know, you can't rule it out. You know, PBC and DAZN, maybe they could work together. But I'm going to lean towards a no and say, uh, and say I don't see this one. Uh, number five is undefeated WBO champion Billy Joe Saunders in a rematch from a fight years ago, which Billy Joe Saunders won. Um, if Ryder became the regular champion and Saunders couldn't land Daniel Jacobs or even uh, Canelo Alvarez next, um, then I really think, uh, yeah, it's possible that Ryder could uh, could get in the ring with, um, could end up, I, I, yeah, I think it's very possible that Ryder could end up uh, facing uh, Billy Joe 
if neither guy has any other options. But I don't think Billy Joe uh, is looking towards John Ryder unless he absolutely has to. So I'm going to say no to this one. Um, next at number six is undefeated IBF champion Caleb Plant. I think Plant is probably next going to uh, – well, we know he's fighting Caleb Truex in January. But I think next he's probably going to um, – after that, I, I would say he's going to be in the Canelo sweepstakes for a possible May fight, um, or he's going to look at David Benavidez, I think. So um, I think Plant is trying to prepare for a bigger fight after the fight with Truax, and I think John Ryder, that's the zone in PBC. I just don't think they're looking each other's way. Um, number seven would be Anthony Durrell, the former two-time world champion. You know, um, at PBC working with the uh, zone again, I, I just don't see it. So I'm going to say no to this one. Um, number eight right now is Lionel Thompson, the veteran. I don't think John Ryder wants anything to do with that fight. Thompson's a PBC guy anyway, so I don't see it. Number nine is John Ryder, and then number 10 would be Caleb Truax, who's fighting right now um, against Caleb Plant next for the title, and I think he's going to lose that one, so I don't think so. So Ryder's going to have some options after shooting off, but we don't know what they're going to be. One guy I will say I think is very possible, and don't just don't hold me to this, but I think if Triple G cannot get the showdown with Canelo in the first half of the year, I think sec or, or even in the second half of the year, I think it's very possible that Triple G and uh, John Ryder could lock up if Triple G decides to move up in weight and goes after a secondary, goes after a championship in a second weight class. I think John Ryder would be a perfect opponent for Triple G's first fight at 168 pounds. So we'll see what happens. That's just throwing that one out there. There's also Demetrius Andre. If he decides to move up in weight, maybe Eddie Hearn matches him against uh, John Ryder. We'll see. So that's it. That's the what's next on former interim champion and world title challenger, John Ryder from the United Kingdom. Hope you guys enjoyed it. True boxing. You've been hit with the truth.